Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio Love Short. Uh, thank you guys so, so much for your energy, uh, your, your vibe and high energy, Scorpio, that only Scorpio can do so well. Thank you guys so, so much for everything that you do positively towards this channel here. Thank you for being a Scorpio family for me. Now, this is a general, so it's not going to resonate with everybody, Scorpio. So use your intuition and know what's for you and what's not for you. Now, it appears here, Scorpio, that someone is getting a taste of their own medicine here. Let's start off this reading with the Six of Wands energy. All eyes on Scorpio. Eh, 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 eh. You got all eyes on you. You got a public recognition of some sorts. For some of you guys, it's public, whether it's uh, you're getting a raise on your job or someone shouting you out uh, on a radio station or, or or maybe you just on your grind and, 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 and you just on your high horse and you feeling yourself because of the work that you have put in. But as you can see, you have a lot of eyes on you. Uh, you got a lot of attention. And of course, you should, Scorpio, because with the Six of Wands brings the star card. So everybody looking at you shy, Scorpio. I'm talking about you are just truly, truly shining here. You are indeed the shining bright star. You get everybody's attention. You stand out above. You you know you stand out above the rest because you're a little bit higher. So you you know it's like you higher grade. Scorpio high grade energy here. Let's talk about that Scorpio high grade energy. But some of you guys are really actual stars, Scorpios. I, I'm I'm talking about the the star Scorpio. If you a star then this is for you, honey, because you shine and you got a lot of eyes on you. Now, if you are a star in the coming, then not only are you uh, elevating and evolving and growing to stardom here because you keep on getting, I, whatever you're doing, whatever you do, maybe it's your beauty, maybe it's your energy, Scorpio, but it's really drawing people's attention to you in a very, very alluring way here. So I feel like since you are the star, Scorpio, you may have a, a very known platform of some sort here. Maybe you, you're high ranking on your job here because when I clarify the star card, you get the three of pentacles here. So I feel like if you are in some type of group setting here where you're working around you, you outshine everybody. That you always make an employee of the month, your picture always on the wall. <laughs> and it just comes natural. It, it gets to the point where they don't even have to do a contest now. They already know that Scorpio is the winner because your, your, your work does not decrease. It just gets better and better and better. Now, I feel like if this is not work-related, Scorpio, then the universe has you up on a pedestal uh, you are a star. You, you're so inspiring. Uh, you bring hope, especially from your loving, nurturing, watery energy. Uh, Scorpio, you're just, you're just so loving here. But see, I think the part of Scorpio a lot of people go to sleep on is because they're so busy focusing on the loving, nurturing, uh, giving side of Scorpio that they have no idea that there is another side to Scorpio that you probably never, ever, ever want to bring out because truth, please believe you be the one bringing it out because it's never Scorpio. I'm just saying, unless Scorpio's in the lower self side, but usually it's the cross watchers. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scorpio, I had a moment. But I feel like you're about to team up with someone because they're watching you. They say, God dang, I want to work with Scorpio. Man, the Scorpio got this shine. Scorpio got that thing that I need so well. Somebody wants to work with you, so don't be surprised if you start attracting people who wants to collaborate with you because they're admiring you. You're the one that's on the pedestal. They're watching you. Please believe, Scorpio. Now, now a side note, Scorpio, check it out. If someone reaches out to you because of a, a good work that you do, because after all, you're the star with all the eyes on you, even their eyes, they're coming to you. Somebody, somebody's coming to a Scorpio with some type of work proposition here. But make believe, now this is the side note, you're the one that's on the pedestal. They're, they're coming to you for the job that you do. Remember, you're the six of ones. You're already high on your thing as well as the star energy. So please believe, make sure you don't, uh, 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 you know, sell yourself short. You're the one that's make that that's going to make the money. And I'm just, I'm just saying uh, you, you're the one that can get it popping. Cause after all, it's something about your energy. Someone wants to collaborate with you because they like how you do that. They ain't never seen it done like you do it, Scorpio. Now I feel like someone, as far as a job, uh, something dealing with money here, 
uh, uh, some type of job or, or somebody, look, like I say, somebody a star. I, I don't care. Somebody really, really is a star and someone finna reach out to you too, Scorpio. Now for some of you, Scorpio, that for, for the work, but and when, it, when it comes to your love life, Someone got their eyes on you, Scorpio, and they like, God damn, I, I, I really admire this chick or this dude. I mean, shit. I mean, it's you just do it for me. Now, if this is a romantic person looking your way, which this is a romantic romance love reading, then they want to work with you because they admire everything about you. And this is going to be a soulmate, the lover's card. Some of y'all dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius here. See, some of y'all going to end up working with somebody and y'all going, and then it may not even be a love relationship, but since we're talking about love, it is. Some of y'all going to start off working together because they're going to come to you and please believe they're going to be so much more into you than you are to them because they're already watching you. They are, it could be somebody watching you on your job. They like how you do that and you look just so fine and so beautiful, but you're going to end up being with this person here. <laughs> You're going to end up being with this person or some of y'all going to end up having a, 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 a sexual, a sexual relationship with somebody, perhaps even on the job. And it ain't even got to be on the job, but you got somebody coming in here towards you, Scorpio, that is going to be your soulmate, that you guys can really build something beautiful together because your next card is the Ace of Swords here. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. This is a brand new beginning, a new opportunity here. Victory, success here. It can also represent truth, clarity, uh, cutting out things that no longer serve you here. So I feel like this Ace of Swords is like a double blade edge for you. It serves multiple purposes for you because I feel like you have cut out things that no longer serve you. This is why you're the freaking star. You can't be the star in low vibration. I'm just saying, well, you can be, but it's not as good. I'm just saying, why be low vibe star? I'm just saying. So, but you're high vibe star, Scorpio. And I also feel like there's an opportunity coming your way here, Scorpio. Uh, I feel like you've ended things, but now you're moving towards something beautiful and amazing. Because when I clarify this Ace of Swords, Scorpio, you get the Fool card. Some of you guys may be uh, dealing with a Aries here. But I feel like you just made up in your mind, Scorpio, especially since you got all this, this attention, uh, you got all this uh, admiration. Uh, I feel like you're doing very, very good and successful in your own right, in your business, your career, your job, whatever. So you got a new opportunity here that's going to cause you to have to take a step out of your comfort zone here, Scorpio. But I feel like this is you doing this, especially with this Ace of Swords, because next you have the Judgment card. I feel like you're saying, God dang, you know, I'm going to do it. Shit, I'm going to do it, Scorpio. You said you're going to say, I'm going to do it. I'm telling you. You're going to say, I'm going to do this shit because it's time. God dang me. I'm, I'm doing good. I mean, shit, I'm ready because I feel like it's with this lover's card. But this one right here, baby, in this Ten of Pentacles, is here to stay. See, whoever this person is coming towards you, Scorpio, like I say, it's, it's two, two different things. Some is for just strict, strictly work because somebody's watching you. Could it be a franchise, a business, a very wealthy person is watching you, some type of skills you do that, that they could really use and they could make you wealthy as well. But in a romantic aspect, you got somebody coming in here who's going to work with you in a team setting here and y'all going to build some shit like this Ten of Pentacles. See? Ten of Pentacles is, is legacies, uh, is inheritance, uh, it, it, it's millionaire. Uh, it, it's the black card. Do they even still have a black card? It's the VIP for me, Scorpio. It's like you finna VIP your ass on up. I mean, you got the star card. Why wouldn't you have the Ten of Pentacles? You're supposed to have the Ten of Pentacles with the star card, Scorpio. But it seems like, Scorpio, while you're going on living your life, doing your own thing, and you ain't paying attention to nobody, you only focusing on you, you got somebody who is upset because... You moved on, Scorpio, with this chariot card. Some of you guys are dealing with the cancer here. I feel like you move forward here. I feel like you move forward to some type of relationship or some type of partnership that you were in or some type of relationship. Some of you Scorpios were married here, but you had to break free here. And it seems like once you, once you do away with, with the things that's holding you down, Scorpio, and it's always on an emotional level, that's how they get us, Scorpio. And if they can get you down emotionally, it's it tends to mess up everything else because we take everything emotionally. And it can even interrupt our work, can't it? You you be at work and you you'll feel you be damned about to cry. <laughs> You be dang near about to cry on your job or about some pissy tail boy or some shitty ass girl. I'm just saying, Scorpio. So you're moving forward from a commitment from some type of relationship here with this devil energy. Ooh. With the star card here, Scorpio. 
So you may be dealing with a Capricorn here, but you moved away from this Scorpio. Now, if this ain't you, this is somebody else who moved away from a unhealthy relationship to become single huh? in this nine of pentacles. Let me hurry up because I know I got somebody out here waiting to do something. So now you have the knight of wands here. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy here. But it's someone who is tripping. Now, it could be the same person who either done left a relationship or you left they ass in a relationship. But now they're, they're, they're wanting you back. But but look how they're showing up in the Knight of Wands energy here. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Give me one minute and I'll be out, okay? Okay. That's the long guy, y'all. <laughs> really like, what? So the Knight of Wands energy with this temperance, some of y'all dealing with the Sagittarius here. So I feel like this person is 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 really wanting to come back with you here. This night, even in this Knight of Wands energy is playboy because maybe they're regretting how they were how they were responding in this relationship. Maybe they were non-committal in this relationship and just were only out for a good time in this Knight of Wands energy, but they're living to regret it. And they are stressing about it. Now, this person is worried. They're not sleeping good. They're looking like a freaking zombie. I'm this person on lost weight, Scorpio. This person, for some of y'all, you're not even going to recognize the same person that you were dealing with. Back in the day, this person probably, act, especially the Knight of Wands, they probably act like they was the shit. But now that uh, Will of Fortune is not no longer on their side, but the luck is in your favor, but not in theirs, now they're, they're, they're dealing with it. And they're not dealing with it good here. You have, see, this person needs balance in their life. They, they, they impatient, I feel like, or they're trying to be patient with this five of cups and this nine of swords. Because like I said, all they do is think about you. And now you have the seven of pentacles. Now, I feel like this person wants to grow. They want, now they want to come in and offer something here. They want to grow something, you know. But I also feel like this person is waiting on you. They're waiting to be a part of your life so you guys can grow something together. Because I feel like in the past, they were just trying to, the only thing they had was their wand. They didn't have no pinnacle. See, this person is hoping that you guys can start over again in love. They come in here because they want this. They want an opportunity to start over with you, Scorpio. But since you the star and you're getting all that attention, you done walked away. He's like, uh-uh, I don't want that shit. I don't even need you anymore. You know what? I don't even like your ass no more. You know what? And since I done healed and I done elevated, I realized that I don't really, really like you like I thought I did. With this eight of cups, are you like, no, nah, I'm going to have to send your ass back to the streets. <laughs> and the five of pentacles, if your ass out there, then that's where your ass going to stay. <laughs> you out there for a reason. <laughs> Stop ringing my doorbell, god dang, before I have to call security. You better go on on. And you're doing this person wrong, Scorpio. But then again, you're doing them so Scorpio right. And your last card is once again the devil card. So some of y'all dealing with the Capricorn here, but this person was extremely toxic. They need to heal. And instead of them healing, they, they're trying to come back to your life because of all this fame and fortune that is coming upon you, Scorpio. And when I say fame and fortune, you're going to get so much fortune, it's going to seem like you're famous. And people going to be like, how you get that? And it ain't going to be nothing like they thought. But then, then for some of y'all, you got somebody going to be a star because I see it. But this person here in this toxic ass energy with this devil card, Scorpio, they it's the, You ended this cycle with this person here, Scorpio, but I guess they're hoping for a new beginning. But what it's telling you is that when you did end this cycle with this person, Scorpio, it brought their whole world down. It brought it down. They have not been the same because all they do is yearn for you. You, you see, you this different type of Scorpio now. You the Scorpio who getting all the attention with the six of wands and even this star card who even have your choices in partners now because you the shit now, Scorpio. They can't touch you. It's like this person. They so used to you in the queen of cups. It's like now you and this queen of wands, you confident, you taking action, you popping off, you doing all this good shit and now they cannot handle it. It was an aha moment for they ass because Scorpio has options and they see that Scorpio is happy. Happy. Now the cups, you happy. See, you happy with this Queen of Wands energy, but it brought down a tower moment for their ass because it's left their ass out in the cold. Now, all they do is obsess over you, Scorpio. With this devil energy, it's all they're doing is obsessing over you from the sidelines because they don't have no past. They don't have no past, and I guarantee you all this person does is watch you. All they do is watch you, Scorpio, while their ass is stuck and crying and can't sleep at night. Watch you with regret and crying because 
Now they realize that Scorpio is the shit. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, this has been your Scorpio Love Short. If this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit this notification bell, Scorpio. Leave me a comment, and I'll talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.